Without question, all of us need wisdom to live our daily lives. If you remember the story of young Solomon when he comes to the throne, he's inherited a divided nation, much of it because of all the bloodshed that took place in his father's reign. And if you remember, God told David, you're a bloody man of war and you can't build my temple because your hands are filled with blood, all foreshadowing the reign of the Prince of Peace. So when Solomon has a dream in Gibeon and asks God for wisdom instead of for riches and for long life, God responds to him and says, I'll give it to you because what you need now is the ability to know how to reunite all that's divided in the day in which you live and prepare the way for a peaceable kingdom. Now we know that all the Old Testament stories are doomed to failure because until the fullness of time, when Christ comes, who is the wisdom of God, we won't see perfection. But for all of us in Jesus that are called to count it all joy when we encounter diverse trials and temptations, every trial and every test isn't haphazard. There's an order to them because of the way the powers of darkness are at work with strategies and backup plans. But there's a wisdom that's greater than them because God anticipates what we're going to face. And the wisdom that got you through a battle a year ago may not be the wisdom that's going to get you there today. It wasn't David's way of wisdom that Solomon needed. He needed the God of wisdom to give him the wisdom to know the way he had to walk. Ask for wisdom. God will give it. And God will give it graciously and abundantly. It's all in Christ. Have a great weekend.